yourself, would you? Tell us a funny story to make us all laugh. Why, I don't know what is the matter with us. We are all so solemn. Is it because I've been stood up by my bow? It is truly the first time in my entire experience with men. And I've had a good deal of all sorts that I have ever been stood up by anybody. I don't quite know how to take it. So, so tell us a funny little story, Stanley, something to help us out. I don't think you like my stories, Blanche. No, I like them when they are amusing, but not indecent. I don't know any refined enough for your taste. Well, then let me tell one. Yes, you tell a story, Blanche. Let me you see. Know lots of good ones. Well, let me just run through my repertoire, shall I? Uh, let's see. Uh, yes, I know. I, I love parrot stories. Do, do y'all love parrot stories? Well, this one here is about the parrot and little old maid. So see now, this little old maid, she had herself a parrot that just cursed a blue streak. I mean, this parrot knew more vulgar expressions than Mr. Kowalski. <laughs> <laughs> the only way to get that parrot to hush on up was to put that cover back over its cage so, so, so that it would think it was nighttime and go back to sleep. So anyway, one morning, uh, the little old maid had just taken the cover off of the parrot's cage, and when who should she see coming up the walk but the preacher? So quickly, she runs back and, and puts the cover back over the parrot and lets the preacher in. And that, that parrot didn't make a noise. It was just quiet as a little old mouse until she was asking the preacher how much sugar he wanted in his coffee. And then suddenly, the parrot let loose with a loud <laughs> and said, God damn, that was a short day! <laughs> well, apparently Mr. Kowalski is not amused. Mr. Kowalski's too busy making a pig of himself to think of anything else. That's right, baby. Your face and your fingers are disgustingly greasy. Just please clean yourself up and then help me clear the table. Well, that's how I'll clear the table. Don't ever talk that way to me. Huh? Pig, Pollock, disgusting, vulgar, greasy. Them kind of words have been on your tongue and your sister's way too much around here. What pair of queens do you think you are, huh? Remember what Huey Long said, every man is a king, and I'm the king around here, so don't forget it. <laughs> now my place is all clear. Do you want me to clear your places? No. I think you know why Mitch didn't come here tonight, but, but you won't tell me. I'm going to call him. Uh, hello, Mr. Mitchell, please. Oh, uh, uh, I'd, I'd like to leave a number if I may. Magnolia, 9047. I hope you're pleased with Please tell him it's important to call. Yes, I've never had much yes, very important. in my life Thank looking at this poor girl's face in the empty chair. Blanche. Oh, oh, what pretty, pretty candles. Don't light them, Stella. Well, I most certainly will. No, no, you ought to save them for baby's birthday. I hope candles are going to glow in his life. I hope his eyes will be like two candles lit on a white cake. What poetry! <laughs> I shouldn't have called him. There's plenty of things could have no, happened. There's no excuse for it, Stella. Well, I don't have to put up with insults. I won't be taken for granted. God damn, it's hot in here with the steam from the I have room. said that I am sorry three times. I take hot baths for my nerves. Well, you healthy Polak without a nerve in your body, you don't know what anxiety feels like. I am not a Polak. People from Poland are Poles, not Polaks. But what I am is 100% American born and raised on the greatest country on earth and proud as hell of it. So don't you ever call me a Polak. That's for me, I'm sure. I'm not so sure. Ah. Keep your seat. Oh, have you, Stanley? Well, I wasn't expecting anything. I don't even know why Stella wants to celebrate my birthday. Well, when you get to be 
27. Well, age is a subject you'd rather ignore. 27. What is it? Is it for me? Yes. I, I hope you like it. Why? Why, it's a... It's a ticket. Back to Laurel on the Greyhound. Tuesday. Well? You didn't need to do that. Don't forget all I took off you of her! You made me so cruel to someone as alone as she is! Oh, delicate piece she is! she is! She was! No, you didn't know Blanche is a girl! No one! No one was as tender and as trusted as she was! Of the people like you! You abused her! You pushed her to change! Why did you do that? Excuse me, where you going? Bowling! You're not going bowling! Now please tell me why! Matt, huh? Me and you, you thought I was common. How right you was, baby. I was as common as dirt. You showed me a snapshot of the place with the columns, and I pulled you down off those columns. And how you loved it getting the colored lights going on, huh? But wasn't we happy together? Wasn't it all okay till she showed here? Wasn't we happy together? Wasn't it all okay till she showed here? Hoity toity describing me as an egg? Stella, what is it? Take me to the hospital. Yeah. Come in. Come in. Put your arm. Arm around me. Let's go. Oh. I got you. I got you. The dark, the dark is comforting to me. I've never seen you in the light. 